This is going to be a video product review of the Honeywell heater air conditioning filter. This is the 10, the number 10, which I have installed right now. Normally I use these little cheapy throwaways that you buy at the uh, HD for two or three dollars. And after about four to six months, they're dirty. And then I replace them. Now they're not excessively dirty. If I repl if I check it in three months, I close it up because there's not enough dirt in there. So three or four dollars, whatever they're going for now. Um, and then I also have this electrostatic one that I've done a video review on years ago when I bought it. This thing's like fifty bucks. After about four to six months, put it in the shower, and very little dirt comes off. I wash off just hardly anything that comes out in the water. So, to replace the number 10, I'm out of breath because I just set up a 13-foot ladder because I have to replace this thing. Not too safe. Um, so I'm going to replace it with the number 9. And I bought two of these because I thought, I want to see if this is going to work. And if it did work, then they didn't have the 10, so I'm going to replace it with the 9 and I'll see what that does. But this video really is about, does the, uh, the honey well number 10 really do enough to justify the, I think these are like, I believe this thing was maybe $20 or $18, $17, and I think I bought the Honeywell, I, they had a two-pack, um, but they didn't have, the two-pack was on a number seven, I think, and I wanted the number nine, so a little bit less money we're going to get on the ladder, I'm not sure if I'm going to show you any of that, um, I've set up the tripod maybe, all you're going to see is the back of my head, you don't want to see that, do you? So, we'll open it up and decide, is it worth the money? Did I get more, uh, more out of the investment? I was up on the loft last night and I looked and it looked like the filter was solid black, but that's deceptive. So, let's set it up. Uh, I don't know if these are available from, home, uh, from uh, Amazon. I'll leave an affiliate link in the video description if they are. Click on the link, do a thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, any of that stuff you're not going to do. Uh, I'll be back. I'm going up on the ladder. This is really dangerous. I don't like doing this. The dog is over here. I don't like this. It's way up. It's not safe. Hopefully I won't be living here forever so I don't have to deal with this. My neck is kind of out right now so I'm going to be wobbling around. Very dangerous. Here we go. Um, okay, so we want that lined up. That lined up there. That lined up there. I don't know. We're going to open it up at the same time. You're going to see it when I see it. If I can get this thing open. Whoa! Whoa, ho, ho, ho! This is worth the money. Yikes! Coming down. Coming down. Okay, look at this filter, unbelievable. Look at this filter, absolutely unbelievable. This is where the air was going through. Let's look at the back of it. This filter is worth every penny. I have never seen my filter so dirty before, which tells me that the filters that I buy are just letting all the dirt go through. This is absolutely sickening. And I have a lot of dust in my place still, so I have a huge dust problem in this place. But this filter that cost me probably three times as much, probably filtered maybe ten times as much dirt. The Honeywell is worth the money. I'm going to stop using the electrostatic. I don't like going up. This is about February, March. I'll have to look. I'll let you know what this is, uh, how long this was in there for. Um, going up there more than every six months is just a disaster. So Honeywell, definitely worth the money. Be careful when you start going to the higher number of filtering because if you have an older system, you could put a massive strain on your compressor or your motor and you could, you could burn it out. Let me go get the new filter and I'll put it in. 
people, it was six months since I replaced it. Six months almost to the day. So, uh, six months and one day. Normally, with the filters that I replace it with, they are cut smaller than the frame, and I end up putting tape around it, duct tape, to seal around the edges. I don't want to go up there with duct tape this time. There's an arrow on the on the uh, side of the filter and make sure that your airflow is, uh, make sure that the arrow is pointing towards the filter, I mean toward, towards the unit, not towards your room. Um, not feeling really stable right now on this ladder, so I want to get this thing done. Filter is fine, it's just a little smaller than the opening, and I'm okay with that. Um, and that's it. That's going to be my review of the filter. Trying to get this thing closed up so I can get off the ladder. Thanks for watching, people. A lot of dust coming off of this thing. I would rather have this in. I've got a dog. I'm always worried this thing's going to open up and fall. Having a paper filter on here now. Very lightweight. It's going to do very little damage to anybody if it does come out. Um, it is, as I said, the filter is cut just a fraction smaller than the opening, whereas a lot of the other cheapy filters in the store, they are cut much smaller than the opening. Probably so they can save themselves some money. And you have to tape everything up. Thanks for watching. Um, buy the Honeywell filter. You get your money's worth.